Uh, my name's Laura Jean McLaughlin, and I'm a ceramic artist. Just even growing up as a child, I just loved love making art. Got my first easel when I was really pretty young, and just um, always loved it. But I was encouraged to do something more practical by my parents. But I um, so I went for medical technology, and then um, yeah, I just still continue to create and take some classes in art and. Um, then I just really had one teacher who kind of stood up and or, you know, really helped me apply to graduate school um, for the artwork that I was creating, even though I, I didn't have an undergraduate in art. I got a minor in art, so I was taking drawing classes every semester. And then I took my first clay class. It was my last year of school. And then I just really fell in love with it. And so after I graduated and I was working in a laboratory in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, I um, took a clay class in the evenings and it was that teacher who just kept on bugging me saying, you're in the wrong field, <laughs> so what are you doing? So he helped me apply to graduate school, um, you know, get photos of my work and everything and go through the whole application process. I've been making art since I was a kid, but um, full time after I graduated um, graduate school, I went to WVU to graduate school for clay and then got my teaching certification. So I started teaching at Manchester Craftsman's Guild and that was about, yeah, 30, 30 years ago. Um, and so it was there that I started doing it more and more. So I went part time. I started selling my work at um, craft shows and everything. And so then I quit that job like yeah, close to 30 years ago and have been doing it full time ever since. I've been here in the studio for about 20 years. Um, so I was working in friendship in my friend's basement. <laughs> um, and then I just, I heard about this initiative to have artists move into the neighborhood and to actually purchase buildings. And then, um, so I got this building for $15,000, which is, is pretty crazy. And I got the lot for a dollar. Um, so their vision was to have artists move in. And um, a lot of times communities will go up, you know, because of artists moving in, but they wanted artists to gain equity too. And so that was their kind of vision. It's just very up and down, like you, you're never completely sure, but in a lot of ways, it kind of kind of coincides with clay because you really, a lot of times you'll work on something for a very long time and then it'll blow up or it'll fall over. And so it just really kind of makes you just kind of, kind of go with the flow and learn to accept, you know, challenges. So sometimes, you know, I struggle with built, but I always, you know, things kind of ebb and flow and I'm able to catch up and, and my main mission has always just been to create and also to go into the community and create with people because I, I do like the teaching aspect of things. Well, I always learn something, you know, especially working with young, um, young kids, young people, like they're just not, uh, they're so fresh and eager and they're not hindered by all the societal things that are going on, like what people expect of their art or whatever. They're just making it because, you know, it feels good and they're having fun. And so that I think is really inspirational to me. Um, so I like that aspect of it. And then also uh, working with communities and doing collaborative projects. I really enjoy that because I just feel like um, the process of creating with a lot of people that process becomes the artwork because then you have stories to tell and then everybody, all the participants uh, gain ownership and feel this sense of pride on what we've created. And so for me, that, that becomes an artwork in itself, just the whole process that you go through. I try to have my, I, my goal is to have my hands in clay every single day. I try to always work on something. And the thing with clay is, you have to kind of almost like baby it along. You have to interact with it over a process. So, um, so I'll have several pieces going on. So it's just kind of kind of nurturing the different pieces that you've started. Um, and I, I, a lot of times I have no idea what I'm going to work on. It seems lately I've been like around 11 o'clock at night. Like I for some reason get excited about working on. Um, 
more not collage necessarily, but I, I've been taking these old medical posters and kind of going back and recreating on top of them. So it's exciting for me because I have no idea what it's going to turn into. So the process is kind of like cloud watching. I just kind of um, look, look at it and let whatever I see, you know, kind of I just start creating around it. Initially, I made that piece for, there was a putt-putt golf course that uh, Pittsburgh Three Rivers Arts Festival, they had invited artists to create a hole for the putt-putt golf course. And so that octopus was my, uh, it had like a hole where you would hit the ball through the mouth and then it would come out the other side and then you'd try to get it in the hole. Well, after I created it, um, my friend Kristen Hughes, she teaches at CMU and she started the octop well, she started a garden and she just asked me, you know, what are you doing with that piece? You know, because it was just sitting in my garage and she was like, do you want to um, have it in the garden? So then it became the octopus garden um, because the piece ended up there. And then that, that's actually the second rendition of it because when I originally made it, it had wood underneath it. So it wasn't really meant to be outside um, long term. It was just like a quick project. So, um, so that the community actually raised money to have me create another one that would be long standing. Actually, I just heard a quote kind of, and it was an interview with David Bowie. And he was talking about how important it was to really um, stick to your true self and and not really listen to you know other like it should come from yourself and believe in yourself that um, whatever you're doing you know is the right thing and I think you know just staying true to yourself and your vision is one of the most important things like if you're trying to make artwork that you think people will like that's probably not a good idea so you just really because you can feel it in the work like if it's fresh and if it's um, if it comes you know from your soul I think people can relate to it more than if it's just something you're trying to sell and then also I would say really uh, don't get discouraged um, a lot of times you know I'll apply to things and whatever and you don't know what else is in store so sometimes you'll really think you want something like you know a project or whatever and you don't get it but then something much better comes around that right around the corner that you wouldn't have known about had you got that previous project and it, it's so much better so just don't get just discouraged about things and just just keep on creating and having fun that's I think really important